Hey, what's up guys? In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to create short codes in your Laravel app. So you could basically add a snippet of code and then using a short code, you would be able to insert whatever you wanted to in place of that. Let me go ahead and show you real quick just what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna create a new Laravel app. So I'll just say Laravel new, and I'm just gonna call this short code. Okay, so after that has been fully installed, I'm going to CD into my new folder here. And then I'm going to run PHP artisan serve, and that will serve a local host at localhost 8000. So after I've done that, I will go ahead and open up my project in Sublime Text. And let's go ahead and open up the localhost 8000 in Chrome. So you can see that we have a blank Laravel installation in front of us right now. So let's go ahead and go to this view file. So this is inside of our resources, views, and welcome.blade.php. So right here, let's say that I wanted to add, say like a snippet of code or a comment and just say hello. And let's say that I wanted this to be replaced with uh, some content that happens through middleware. So I can uh, add a new middleware and then I could add some content in place of this hello. Uh, I probably want to add something like uh, inside of these brackets, short code underscore hello and you've probably seen a lot of this in say like the wordpress world sometimes they will have like add the short code to the text editor and it will replace the short code with some other line of code so let me go ahead and save that and if we refresh the page we still see the same thing in front of us because that's just an html comment so let's go ahead and create a new middleware for our project so i will say php artisan make middleware and i will call this home short code middleware so after that has been created i can go into my app http and middleware folder and you'll see that we have a new home short code middleware right here and you can see that we have the handle function which basically just returns the next request and what we can do is we can actually catch the request so before we display the content out on the screen we can catch it and do a string replace with that short code and then we can replace it with a certain kind of any line of code that we want to add to it, any kind of HTML. We can even render PHP or anything else to output into the screen in place of that short code. So what I'm gonna do instead of this returning next request, I'm gonna store this in a response. And what I'm gonna to want to do is I wanna make sure that response has a content method. So I will say if this method exists, so if this method does not exist for response, and this is the content method. So if this does not exist, then we just want to return the response. So say if we're not outputting anything to the screen, then we don't need to run this function. So we'll say if the content does not exist, then we'll just return the response like normal. And otherwise, if it does exist, then we will add some new content and we're going to do a string replace and we will want to replace this short code. So you can see here that we added this short code right here. So I can copy, paste that there. Let's go ahead and just do a simple text in here. I'll just say hello there. And then what I will want to do is I will want to replace the short code with the hello there inside of the response content. And the next thing to do is I want to say response and I want to set the content to the new content with the string being replaced. And then I simply just return the response. And if I save that and I go back to the Chrome browser and I refresh, then we do not have that there. And that is because I have not registered this middleware. So I need to register this middleware inside of our app. And we can do that inside of our app, HTTP kernel.php. So you can see here, if I just copy in paste this line of code right here, I can change this with my home short code middleware. And now if all is successful, I can reload the page and we will see our new text inside of there. And that has replaced our, sh our short code. So you can see that inside of this home short code middleware, we can replace this with any kind of HTML or uh, PHP. And this is really great because let's say that we build an application and we just want to tell people to insert a short code into maybe some of their template files so they could insert this short code and then using a middleware we could register the middleware and automatically replace that line of code with the line of code that we want in there and just a quick note you may want to keep this short code in there so we would probably want to say 
replace the shortcode hello with the content as well as the shortcode itself. This way, if you want to rerun another middleware that uses this shortcode, you can see inside of the DOM, we should still have this shortcode hello. So then any other middleware could replace that shortcode as well. So uh, that was just a quick video on showing you how to add your own short codes to your Laravel app using middleware. And I hope that you find this useful in any of your future products. And uh, I will talk to you in a later video.